Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Tech Block. hope you're having a very good day, and today we are going to be unboxing probably one of the most expensive mouses in the world. This here is the Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse with the Razer Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad bundle that will only cost you £250 if you're in the UK and $250 if you're in the US. So this is probably one of the most expensive mouses in the world, if not the most expensive gaming mouse in the world. So, it came in this lovely package. I have no clue what to expect, what the packaging is going to look like, as I'm not too sure if there's any unboxing videos out on this mouse already. I might be the first one to do an unboxing video. I really do not know. I don't know what to expect. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the unboxing. Right, so let's swap the flat back and actually unbox the mouse. And okay, okay. We do have some lovely packaging here. You're keeping the mouse pad and mouse secure whilst shipping, as this did come all the way from Hong Kong. However, I think it has arrived in decent condition. All right, so let's take off all the packaging. So right here is the box that it comes in. So one of the reasons why this mouse and mouse pad are so expensive is because it features Razer's brand new Hyperflux wireless power technology. So the way it all works is actually really cool. The Razer Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad generates a magnetic field all around it, allowing it to transfer power wirelessly to the mouse, which is very handy as I currently own a Razer Lance Set wireless mouse, bundled with a Razer Firefly cloth edition mouse pad, and every single night I have to plug the mouse in with a cable to pretty much charge it overnight. So when I'm using the mouse during the day I can stay in wireless mode. However, thanks to Razer's Hyperflux technology, I'm no longer going to have to charge my mouse every single night. I can just leave the mouse on the mouse pad overnight and it will always have power. So the moment I jump on my PC, I never actually have to worry about my mouse being out of battery, as it will always have power as long as you keep the mouse on the mouse pad. Now one thing to keep in mind is the mouse doesn't actually have a battery inside, which makes it very, very lightweight. More lightweight than some wide mouses in fact. However, that does come with the drawback of whenever you take the mouse off the mouse pad, for 15 seconds or more, the mouse will turn off. And 15 seconds is an acceptable amount of time. But the moment you put the mouse back on the mouse pad, it will turn back on as it's once again receiving wireless power thanks to the Hyperflux technology built into the mouse pad and mouse. Optionally, you can use the mouse in wired mode as it does come with a two meter braided cable allowing you to use the mouse in wired mode if you'd like to. So if you're going away on holiday and you'd like to take your laptop and mouse with you, you won't have to take an entire mouse pad with you to use the mouse as you can just use the mouse in wired mode. Right, so enough talking about the features of the mouse. Let's actually unbox it. Right. So just cut the tape over here. I think I'm gonna have to flip it over so you guys will probably see the mouse pad first or not, or not. Right, oh my god, the packaging here is out of this world. Right, so the unboxing experience so far has been very nice. I've just opened the box. All right, so over here we have Hyperflux wireless power. Very exciting stuff and some padding on the back here, keeping everything inside the package secure. Over here we have some instructions showing you how to connect everything. So over here we have a Mamba Plus Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad, quick start guide I believe. It also mentions here that the mouse comes with a two year limited manufacturer warranty as well, which is quite nice. So if you have any problems with the mouse, make sure to contact Razer Support as I'm sure they'll resolve any problems for you. Over here we have a two meter USB 3.0 braided cable from Razer, a very, very high quality cable. I'm very impressed. And over here we have the mouse itself, and oh dear, the mouse is actually very light. Uh, in comparison to my Razer Lancet mouse right here. Over here I have my Razer Lancet wireless mouse that has a battery, and here we have the Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse, which I did have a Razer Mamba 2015 wireless mouse for quite a few years, However, I did upgrade to the Razer Lance set not too long ago, and now I'm switching back to the Razer Mamba, and I'm probably just going to end up giving the Razer Lance set mouse to my mom. And what's quite funny is that the Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse almost feels as if it's like a dummy unit because of how light it is, whereas if you pick up the Razer Lance set wireless mouse, it has much more weight to it because it actually has a battery inside. Anyway, let's take a look at the Razer Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad. And over here we have remove film before use. So let's go ahead and do that of course. Let's remove the film that's stuck onto the back of the mouse pad right here. Let's take off the protective film of course. Mm. Mm. And here we have the Razer Hyperflux mouse pad. Very nice stuff, feels very sturdy, very high quality, much more heavy than your regular Firefly mouse pad. And it even features dual surfaces, so you can use your mouse on a cloth surface or a hard surface, whatever you prefer really. Personally, I think I'm going to mainly be using the cloth surface as I currently have a Razer Firefly cloth edition mouse pad and I'm quite used to a cloth surface in general. Before you actually plug in and use the mouse pad, make sure to remove the film that's underneath the mouse pad right here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Oh my lord, we have removed the film and let's place the cloth surface 
on top of this mouse pad, and I believe it'll just kind of magnetically kind of just like stick itself in there. There we go. It lies very flush with everything. All right, so I believe we've unboxed everything that came with the mouse and mouse pad. So the next step is to remove the Razer Firefly Cloth Edition mouse pad, as well as my Razer Lance Head mouse. Entirely remove it from the setup, set this one up, set the mouse up, plug it all in, cable manage everything, of course, and then I'll go ahead and give you my first impressions of the mouse, as well as checking out the magnificent RGB lighting that the mouse and mouse pad feature. So let's set it all up. The mouse is working, oh my god, Razer Synapse is prompting me to update, let's go ahead and do that now. It's all plugged in, it's all working which is very nice. So now that I've recited my PC and everything is all set up, let's jump into Razer Synapse 3 and check out all the different settings that we can customize. Right, so first of all, let's cover the customize tab, so you can left click, you can right click of course, you can scroll click, you can scroll down, you can scroll up, as with any other normal mouse. However, because this is the Razer Mamba, you can also scroll to the left and right. We have two DPI buttons at the top of the mouse as well, so you can increase your DPI by pressing this button and decrease your DPI by pressing this button here. The mouse also features a forward button as well as a back button, and just so you know, every single button on this mouse can be remapped using Razer Synapse Free software. Moving on, let's also check out the performance tab, and over here we can adjust the sensitivity stages, so stage 1 is 800, stage 2 is 1800, we can adjust that to 900 for example, stage 3, let's say, let's keep that at 1000, stage 4, let's set that to 1100, you can also have a maximum of five sensitivity stages. Over here, you can adjust the polling rate of the mouse, which pretty much just adjusts the frequency at which the device will report back to your PC, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's check out the lighting effects. Over here, we can adjust the brightness of the LEDs. Let's set that all the way to 100. Over here, we have the quick effects area. I've currently got it set to breathing with the color red and white. However, you can also set this to random colors if you'd like to. Next up, we have reactive. I've currently got it set to the color red. So whenever I click a button on the mouse, it's going to light up which is pretty cool. Next up we have Spectrum Cycling, which pretty much just cycles through a range of different colors. Moving on, we have the very simple static effect. I've currently got it set to the color green. And finally we have Wave. Now, as you've probably noticed, there are two power indicator LEDs, one on the mouse pad and one on the mouse. Now, don't you worry, these are also RGB compatible. So let's jump into the power indicator area here and change the color of the power indicator LEDs to white, for example. And if for whatever reason you don't want the LEDs on whatsoever, just untick both these boxes and the LEDs will turn off. Moving on, we have the Advanced Effects tab and the Chroma Studio. So over here we have Razer's brand new Chroma Studio and I'm, and I'm probably going to be making a dedicated video all about this. However, for now, I've currently got everything set to wave. And just before we end the video, let's check out the keyboard visualizer. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. I sure had a lot of fun making it. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.